guys. Today I will show you what packages I use for Atom Editor for front-end development. I can say that 90% uh, of time I am writing JavaScript code, so a lot of these packages will be related to JavaScript. So first package is Atom TypeScript and uh, it can highlight uh, syntax for TypeScript files, autocomplete, na file names and uh, variables and uh, can check errors of TypeScript and I am using it only because sometimes I am writing on Angular 2 project with TypeScript. The second package is auto close HTML, and this package just automatically closes uh, opening tab in HTML. Nothing special. The next one is autocomplete path. Autocomplete plus um, is now in the core of Atom editor, and this is the extension autocomplete path. With it help, um, you can autocomplete all files in your project. The next one is Dog Blocker. Dog Blocker is a um, package which can help you to write documentation easier. And uh, I use uh, it to write just doc documentation in my JavaScript. Next one is Editor Config. This is the package that uh, is needed to have the same code style and indentation in different editors. So the idea is that uh, in your root folder you create editor config file where you have some configuration and the developers which have different um, IDE or editors can uh, watch this file with some package and check what indentation is needed. So this is must-have plugin if several developers are working in different uh, editors. The next one is file icons. File icons are just a package which changes the colors of file names and the icons of these files. And uh, it is just used to make it beautiful and colorful, so you can work easier and find files easier. Next one is Highlight Selected. Highlight Selected, uh, from my opinion, should be included by default, because it's super useful. It is just when you double-click on some word, it will uh, highlight all uh, um, uh, this word in the open file. Uh, the next one is JavaScript snippets, here it is, and there are a lot of different JavaScript snippets. I am just using several of them, like console log, you can use CL for this, or for debugger you can use DE. It's quite useful, because you are writing it always a lot, and uh, you can just write it faster. The next one is DAS.js. Uh, this is the syntax highlighting for DAS.js files. I am using it just because we are using, uh, we are using DAS templates at work in projects, so I just need syntax highlighting for them. Next one is JavaScript J6 highlighting. This is only for React stuff, so it has correct intendation and uh, it can uh, show you correct uh, syntax highlighting also. The next one is the best one. This is linter and this is like core package which you need to install and you can uh, then install different extensions for this. As you can see, you can uh, see all errors in your files like missing semicolon or something else just on the fly when you write the code. And the next one package is linter yes lint, and this is uh, the package which uh, is used to add yes lint configuration to the linter. So basically, in each project, I have this linter with yes lint RC, RC file, which is used to determine all errors and so on. Next one is pigments. I use it only 
or CSS highlighting of colors in your project. The next one is Project Plus, and Project Plus can help you to manage different projects quite easily because you can in one click change the project and open files and even save uh, all tabs that were opened, so it's quite comfortable to work with. And the last one is like the best one also, it is Sync Settings for Atom. And when you have your Atom configured on one machine, you of course want to move all settings, all snippets and everything that you have, all K-maps to other machine in one click. And this is what for you need this package. So you just install it, you create uh, your personal gist in GitHub uh, and provide the token. And then you can use two commands, uh, sync backup and sync restore. Sync backup will just create backup if you install some new package which is not in sync. And sync restore will just restore on this machine all your configurations of Atom. I hope it will help you to configure Atom much better now and use it easier.